USAR overall is to assist deeply in tuned individuals that are trapped in collapsed buildings um, anywhere around the world. As a USAR team, we have other capabilities that are far beyond uh, just digging through rubble. You know, we're a group of doctors and, and engineers and firemen, and you know that team can be tasked with just about anything you know, to solve problems. USAR is a part of FEMA, you know, one, one small part of, of the bigger uh, the bigger picture. Uh, we're generally there at the onset of an incident because there is that immediate need of, I have a live victim that is trapped. This week we are doing a MOBEX drill, which is a mobilization exercise, and we are doing basic training, uh, breaching and breaking. The rescue guys are getting to, to train for their skills uh, for urban search and rescue response. To come out to these MOBEX drills once a year and have the guys who are going to do it on a real incident, getting them on the ground with the jackhammers and the core drills and all the heavy equipment that they don't get to use on a daily basis makes their skills handy and we can go to work when we get a real incident. They get to familiarize themselves with the equipment that they don't use every day, but they also get to meet the people that they don't see every day. So when we get deployed as a team, we mesh better and we work better together. For me, the rubble pile delayering is really fascinating because I get to exercise my load path skills, hopefully, and learn, learn things, too. I'm here to learn, too. I get to engage with, like, a childhood, you know, fantasy of being a firefighter, you know, and I get to work with them, and I get to, you know, meet with people of different backgrounds, you know, and we all have our strengths and weaknesses, and uh, just being able to share information, I think, is a very critical component of what we do, not only for the residents of the disaster zone that we're going to, but also from the members of our task force as well. If you're trapped uh, in a building as a result of a natural disaster, no matter who you are, we will move heaven and earth to try to find you and get you out.